Hello everyone, welcome to Wild Writing in the Time of Corona. We're on our Do Something Different day, so on this very dark November day, I'm um, doing something different immediately, which is doing the um, uh, workshop by candlelight. And um, today's workshop is all about um, the subject of translation. And um, I have a challenge for you today, which is to write a poem and then find a way of translating it. It might be that you know someone who knows another language. It might be that you um, try Google Translate. Uh, it might be you can do it yourself. Um, and I just thought it was nice to have um, a poem with um, its uh, English roots, but also um, maybe have it in uh, another language as well. And I know in the workshop there are languages um, from all over, people who speak languages from all over the world. So I thought just that it was a nice way of bringing us together in uh, what is quite a dark time. And the other theme that kind of runs through today is the fact that um, many people today are celebrating Diwali, which is a festival of light. So I've tried to um, take that as my um, way into translation. I've um, tried a an old poetic form. Um, it's called an abanga which is from um, the Maharashtra region in India. Um, the language was Marathi, apparently. Um, and um, it's quite a simple poem, only four lines in each stanza, six beats per, uh, for lines one, two and three, and then four beats for the fourth line. And the uh, lines two and three rhyme, and that's all there is to it. So I've written a poem for Diwali, and it's called um, Light in November. And what I'm going to suggest you do is you choose um, a title from the four I'm going to give you. So the first one is obviously Light in November, which I thought is quite relevant to today. The second title could be Going Back To, and you, subs you, you uh, put in the last word, Going Back To. The third one, um, Days Of, and again you, you put in the um, third word days of, you choose what it is. Um, and the last one, for those of you who maybe want to write a story or want specifically to write about a person for your translation poem, uh, someone, and then you put in a name or a country or a place or something, finest hour. So someone's finest hour or something's finest hour. Okay, so four choices, light in November, going back to dot dot dot, days of, dot 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 or dot dot dots finest hour okay so have fun with one of those and uh, as i say translate it if you can so here is my poem uh, light in november for diwali which i'll read in english i put a, put a translation up in um, in hindi and in uh, marathi and i'm going to try and do it in malayalam too which is the language of kerala and so the dark comes in here it is November. With light we remember Sita's rescue. Tears light her way home. Ra Rama and Hanuman doing all that they can on a no moon day. Tonight will light dears underfoot Rangoli. There's something quite holy in bringing light. My very simple poem for Diwali 2020. So I hope you've enjoyed this different sort of workshop and I very much look forward to seeing what you come up with um, and uh, how many languages we can actually um, write in today. So you take care and I shall see you again in a couple of days. Bye bye for now.